So one thing that uh, we have heard Carol Spahn speak to, uh, the director of Peace Corps, and since March, and I've, I've made a large point of this since uh, beginning uh, this role, is the redefinition of Peace Corps that she uh, did in March of this year during Peace Corps Week. She did an incredible presentation on Peace Corps' return to service around the world. And she, for the first time that I've seen, defined Peace Corps in her remarks as a not a two-year experience for Americans to serve overseas, but as a global network of people who are connected. And she and Peace Corps, for the first time, I have been using very inclusive uh, a language to include not just volunteers and RBCVs, but host families, counterparts, uh, local staff, and, and uh, what we describe as a global and vibrant network. And this is where MPCA comes in more than uh, anywhere else. And I've heard this from many of you that MPCA is a network. We are the platform for a network of groups uh, of individuals for, for, for connecting with one another, for social impact needs, for professional needs. And if you go to the next slide, I would like to share a, uh, a few locations where this network exists. And of course, social media is one of the uh, most powerful tools for managing and engaging with a, a network and a community such as ours. The Instagram uh, following uh, is, is increasing and uh, very dynamic if that's your cup of tea. Uh, LinkedIn is one of the fastest growing social networks and uh, our fastest growing network of RPCVs is the Peace Corps Network Group on LinkedIn, uh, very quickly growing over the last couple of years to over 20,000 members. And it is a very active space for people to engage with each other, mostly around professional and uh, and career goals. But uh, I see a lot of other information and sharing and uh, academic and thought exchange there as well. Um, also, please follow at National Peace Corps Association on LinkedIn, uh, if, if that is, again, a, a space that you occupy. Facebook uh, has continues to go strong. Uh, we have uh, 58,000 followers uh, that pales in comparison to Peace Corps, so please follow a Peace Corps on these channels as well. But uh, a lot of the news uh, that, that we are sharing with you through newsletters will also and through Worldview Magazine will also be sharing with you here. Um, uh, if you go to the next slide, uh, one of the things we've been focusing on this year is updating membership information. And this is something we've done every 10 years. I think many of you who have been NPCA members for over a couple of decades will recall NPCA sponsoring a uh, directory, um, a, a very large book volume of RPCV contact information and uh, uh, information about countries and dates of service. The world has changed. I have to say that a few times uh, today. And the the uh, reference books uh, are no longer uh, something that, uh, that that are produced or, or appreciated by many. So the organization that NPCA has been partnering with for the last uh, uh, for 30 years now, uh, uh, Publishing Concepts Incorporated (PCI), began by uh, uh, our our. our 10-year membership uh, validate verification process this year by sending many of you, uh, hopefully most of you, have received a postcard or an email from Publishing Concepts. I also, it appears to come from MPCA as well as our partner, uh, asking you to call and verify your contact information and that will ensure that we can reach out to you, that we can send you uh, your, your copies of Worldview Magazine to the correct address. But new this year, and this is something I'm, I'm actually very excited about. The uh, as people call into this number to confirm their contact information, um, and that that is a uh, I'm just noticing on the the postcard on your screen is is not the accurate number. We'll put that into the chat. Uh, this is a sample postcard that we we included in the slide deck. Um, the the uh, uh, operators standing by uh, with this company are asking you to share a brief uh, recollection of your Peace Corps experience. And the objective is to create a uh, book of Peace Corps stories. Uh, we're calling it a, uh, a coffee table book that will be available for purchase sometime in 2024. 
and uh, uh, will represent uh, the stories that uh, uh, have been given to to uh, the membership verification process. So it helps us by being able to reach out to you to your accurate contact information. Uh, we'll have uh, better information about your countries and dates of service, so we can connect uh, people to you and and, and uh, improve our uh, again our network and. Um, uh, available for purchase uh, sometime next year, you'll have a, a coffee table book with these these stories and photos of uh, of of uh, Peace Corps volunteers, uh, RPCVs. I do want to take this opportunity to clarify that this is uh, separate from the oral history project. Uh, some some of uh, the communication around this have talked about your oral histories, but uh, this is uh, I. I uh, strongly encourage you to also give your oral history uh, to uh, uh, an interviewer with that project and uh, stay tuned for the Affiliate Group Network annual meeting to learn more about that project. Okay, uh, also internally focusing this year, and next slide, is our website and web and uh, and database migration project. And this is a, a uh, for an organization of our size, a very massive undertaking. And uh, uh, we have uh, uh, decided, a uh, very difficult decision, but uh, absolutely the correct one to uh, leave our current database where you currently experience the National Peace Corps Association online. Uh, the website will remain the same, the, the URL, but we will have a fresh, uh, a look and an updated uh, website in the next couple of months. And part of that is a new membership portal using a uh, product called Blackbod Razor's Edge. Um, what I'd like to just share is that this is a massive internal undertaking and is going to significantly improve your membership experience with National Peace Corps Association and, and how you're able to update your information, interact and communicate with us. And we really look forward to rolling this out and make many of our lives much easier. All right, so that's what I wanted to say about membership. I, I would uh, like to take this opportunity to uh, give a quick public service announcement uh, again about the upcoming, uh, immediately following this meeting, the Affiliate Group Network annual meeting uh, will be a great opportunity for you to uh, uh, listen to the words of our Rupee Award uh, finalists and to hear from the Women of Peace Corps Legacy as they announce their two awardees for the year. So please stay tuned. It will also be a, a vibrant panel discussion and breakout room opportunities to, to learn more about this work. All right, so um, the transition I'd like to make from groups to our, our next pillar is to highlight that a lot of the impact that MPCA has, uh, uh, that the RPCV community has rather uh, across uh, our country and across the world uh, is, uh, is, is the work being undertaken taken by our affiliate groups. And you see the cause, what we call our cause related groups here and I add this slide just because I want to encourage everybody who's not already to explore these groups. Uh, maybe you're involved in your local uh, RPCV chapter and where you live. Maybe you're involved in your country of service uh, RPCV group. But if you really want to have an impact, I strongly encourage you checking out uh, some of these uh, other groups to make a difference well beyond your country of service and, and where you live. They're doing some fabulous work. And again, stay tuned for the affiliate group uh, meeting immediately following this uh, to learn more about these, these projects, at least some of them. <clears throat> 